Today we will discuss about orthopedic plates. So definition of a plate, it is an internal splint which hold the fracture ends of bone. Sherman plate is supposed to be the first scientific plate in the history of orthopedics. So what does a plate do? It will maintain the alignment of bone and it will transfer forces from one end of bone to other end. Functional classification of plating. Bridging mode of fixation. It is a type of fixation used for a combinated fracture. Next is neutralization mode of fixation. It is mainly used for oblique fracture where already we inserted an interfragmentary screw over which we are inserting a plate that is in neutralization mode. Next is buttress mode of fixation. In buttress mode it will buttress the weakened area of bone and it will prevent the collapse of the bone during healing process mainly used for periarticular and intraarticular metaphyseal fractures. Now you can see a dynamic compression plate. In a dynamic compression plate there is no locking holes. Small, narrow and broad DCPs are available. An LC DCP or limited contact dynamic compression plate is a plate with undercuts and it has got a uneven hole distance and uneven distribution of bending force. And it will minimally affect the blood supply of bone because it has got an undercut and it will not disturb the periosteal blood supply. And the magnitude of compression will be more in a LC DCP than a DCP and bone in growth at the fracture site will be more in limited contact plate. Next is tubular plates. Tubular plates are actually part of a metallic cylindrical tube. It is mainly used in bridging and neutralization mode of plating. There are quarter tubular, one third tubular and semi tubular plates are available. Quarter tubular means one fourth of circumference of a cylinder. One third means one third of circumference of a cylinder. Semi tubular means half of circumference. One third tubular plates are mainly used for fracture fibula fixation. Next is locking compression plate. Locking compression plate is a fixed angle construct where screw head is locked into the plate. The stability of fixation occurs at screw plate interface. There is no contact between plate and bone interface, so it will not hamper periosteal vascularity. And healing of fracts occurs by secondary indention, and usually the plate length needed is at least three times the fracture length. Indications of locking plates are osteoporotic fracture, combinated fracture, intraarticular fracture, and metaphyseal fractures. Next is reconstruction plates. So these plates can be molded manually according to the contour of bone. There are various types of reconstruction plates. There are simple reconstruction plate, locking plate or a Y-shaped plate. These are some special plates, acetabular plate, distal femoral plate and distal radius plates. That's all for today. Thank you.